morning, good morning. It is day 147, I think. It could be 48. 47 of from here to Jerusalem. Uh, oh, I see a gate. There we go again. Um, it is Christmas Day. And again, I went to uh, Dusnok by bus. Oh, okay. There really is a gate. There a gate. Uh, Dusnok and the bus driver nearly wouldn't let me on because of my boots. But I smiled at him, said sorry in four languages, and uh, hopefully that'll do the trick. Oh my! I'll have to go around it if it's not open. Let me check this first. Okay then, I now know it is day 248 from here to Jerusalem and the route that I had planned is closed. I rang the bell and they said, no, you can't come through here. So, <laughs> oh, this is bringing tears to my eyes. Christmas day, I'll be walking along the route 51. Wow, that was not what I expected. That is not what I expected at all. <sighs> okay, deep breath. <sighs> Merry Christmas, Anya. This is your present for the day. It's a beautiful day. You'll be dodging traffic. Hopefully traffic will be not very busy because it's Christmas day. People are supposedly with their families. Let's hope they are. And uh, wish me luck. Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Big gate, cameras. And I went like, I pushed a button, asked if they spoke English or German. I said, I need to get back to the Duna. They went, no, you have to walk over the 51 and the nine. <laughs> oh. I am not happy. I'll be fine. It'll be okay. There is something in here that I need to learn or whatever. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Sure. Why not? <sighs> Bus driver's giving out to me. <laughs> because my shoes are too muddy and I'm not allowed to walk because it's too muddy. Uh, what to do, what to do. Okay, just get it done. Get it done. Get it done. to uh, one of the alternative routes. Lucky, there is a road. Probably not for long, but uh, road 51, not for me. I mean, people don't believe this, but uh, I'm pretty risk averse. I don't like taking risks. So <clears throat> walking on a road with traffic that goes over 80 kilometers an hour, not my thing. <sighs> Even if I can see them coming. Yeah, so I don't know how long this is gonna take me now. 
because I won't be able to go through the forest. Like I said, I'm lucky I've got a road now. There should be a bridge ahead, but it's not sure. Car came by, so I guess there is. And then I'll probably be back on agricultural roads until I come to a pilgrimage shrine on the Danube and then I'm back on the dike. Uh, it's, it's even even. So 10 kilometers of struggle, 10 kilometers of dike. Ah. Looking forward to the dike? <laughs> really looking forward to the dike. And this isn't bad either. Grateful for what I have. And uh, yeah, bring, bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. This isn't bad either. Right, okay, the duna is somewhere over there and I have about six kilometers along this road to meet the duna again. It's going to slowly, slowly, slowly inch its way towards the dike and then at some stage I can turn right and I'll be on the dike again. Uh, I let my chance to go over Tarmac Go when I crossed underneath the M9. But I think I prefer mud over traffic. Okay, there is my dike, I think, and this is my road, and there, I think at the tree line, that's where I'm going to turn to get onto the dike. So, so far, a walk that should be just under four hours. I have done uh, four hours, and uh, I think I've got another two to go. It's slow and painful. It is uh, muddy again, very, very muddy. Every few hundred meters, I have to scrape off uh, like a kilo of mud and uh, navigate stuff like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Up, 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 up. Done. Up to the next obstacle. And that's how it goes. That's how it's done. Now, let me get to the dike. That'll make me happy because after that I don't have to navigate. All I have to do is just walk until I get to my bed. That sky is stunning, huh? That's the thing. It's, uh, it's desolate. There's nobody here, of course. 
just me, a few deer, some birds. And it's beautiful and wet and muddy. Huh. Whatever you're into, I suppose. <laughs> Hello, Tarmac. Now, muddy shoes. I will deal with them once I get to the dike. The dike is over there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ha! My friend, it took us too long to find you, like, it took me too long to find you today. But it's good to see you. One more hour. I'm gonna have a break. Break first. Break. I've had my break, so I've got one more hour to go. The light is getting pretty low, uh, but I'll be there before dark. And there might be a restaurant with good fish soup. Mm. <laughs> there was a, a father and a daughter just stopped. And they asked me where I was from. <sighs> Hungry, you're loving me now. I want to love you back, but I wanted to love you back all along. Anyway, we had a nice chat. And uh, they were asking me about where I was from, what I was doing. And they told me about the fish soup. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Uh, because yesterday all I could buy was bread. And I've eaten about half of it. I have a tin of beans and tomato sauce. But fish soup. Hmm, sounds very good. All right, let's go finish this.
I am there where I need to be. I have a few hundred meters and then I'm at the place where I'm going to be resting for tonight. The light is glorious and the people that I met earlier, they were telling me this dike goes all the way to Beograd. So I am going to be one happy, happy, clappy bunny. Hello. One happy, happy, clappy bunny uh, walking over this dike over the next two weeks. Yeah, now let's go find where my bed is. It can't be far. And look, we're back at the Duna. Hello there, my friend. It is so good to see you. So good to see you. There we are. Hey, uh, 